I'm going to show you what a local police department did during public comment. Hello, uh, this is my public comment for city council meeting. Well, now October 3rd, 2022. Defund Newton Police Department. They are a violent civil and human rights violating organization who do not make your community safer. Uh, they're also pro-domestic abuse because they are currently employing a domestic abuser and choosing to not release the records about that domestic You're abuser. You're out of order, sir. Stop no, I'm not. You are as out of I, order. As I was saying. Chief. We allocate funds from policing to actually help police people your comments with are out of order. abuse issues. It is a health you are issue. violating the rules. You are you violating, are violating the United States Constitution. Chief, escort this gentleman out of the chambers. The man's name is Noah Peterson. After reading his statement, here is what followed. In my three minute period to voice my criticism about the government. government. Yes, and I have three minutes to give the government some criticism. He's going to leave. Okay, I'm not leaving until. Are my three minutes up? He's going to leave. I'm not leaving. Okay. You want to be arrested? I'm sure arresting me. Okay. Make sure you're doing that. Arrest me for speaking my first amendment rights. Go ahead. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Peterson was removed at the direction of the mayor. Noah Peterson called for the city to defund the Newton Police Department, saying it is a violent, civil, and human rights violating organization that does not make the community safer. He also claimed the department is pro-domestic abuse for employing a domestic abuser. Newton Mayor Mike Hansen slammed his gavel and said Peterson was out of order. Despite Peterson's protests, Hansen called on Newton Police Chief Rob Burdess to escort him from the council chambers inside City Hall. Hansen said Peterson was violating the rules of the city council meeting. To be clear, this is the man, Police Chief Rob Burdess, who approached Peterson and placed him in handcuffs. The mayor claimed Peterson's three minutes expired. It did not. If you would like to leave a comment for the mayor, which is all public information, you can do so here. The city requires comments or questions during citizen participation must be related to city policies or the provision of city services and shall not include derogatory statements or comments about any individual. Peterson's comments reference a specific officer, although he did not name the officer. Peterson was escorted quietly into the atrium of City Hall, where Burdess patted him down in a search for weapons, drugs, and paraphernalia, finding nothing. Peterson was then charged with disorderly conduct and transported to jail. Last month, body cam footage worn by a Newton police officer showed 19-year-old college student Taven Galanicus being arrested and charged with DUI, and then three hours later, he was released with no charges because he passed field sobriety test. The video also shows Galanicus telling officer Nathan Winters he wasted his time, should do a better job next time, and that he should apologize. When Galanicus shared his experience with Newton police officers, people began recounting their bad interactions with law enforcement as well, or specifically with Winters and Newton police lieutenant Chris Wing. Others shared screenshots of a domestic abuse case involving Winters, from Iowa Courts Online. As is the case with many politicians, the mayor criticized Galanicus and others for making what he called false and defamatory statements against Newton police officers and for spreading a false allegation that Winters was convicted of domestic abuse. Galanicus said the claim of domestic abuse comes from Iowa Courts Online, which shows there is a case categorized as a DACV between winners and another woman, resulting in a mutual protective slash no contact order. Several people shared screenshots of the filings when questioned about the no contact order placed on winners newton city administrator matt muckler said it is a mutual protective order between the officer and former girlfriend newton news learned the protective order between winners and his former girlfriend states he is restrained from committing any further acts of abuse or threats of abuse so although no criminal charges were filed against winners the act of a domestic abuse is implied through the order itself. 
However, the order also has an added stipulation that allows winners to conduct official police business. Peterson would write on his Twitter the following, Important context, cop Nathan Winters is currently employed by NPD. He currently has an active protective order against him for domestic abuse. Has had that order for one year and his victim recently filed for an extension of the order. He remains a cop. I have asked the city for records of the internal communication slash response to one of their cops being a domestic abuser. Instead of being transparent, the city has chosen to not release the records, hence the whole pro-domestic abuse statement. What else is the public supposed to think?